Hey everyone, Notorious here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second episode in my SRT Hitch series, which is a collaboration between myself and an arborist named Brocky, who is also enthusiastic about creating hitches the way that I am. And if you saw the previous episode, which if you haven't, episode one, then you're going to want to watch this first, um, or watch that first, rather, which cover the Synergy Hitch. And this is the hitch here. And at the end of that video, I explained how, because of how this hitch is tied, it doesn't make sense to you know, terminate these legs the way you would a normal hitch in the sense that, you know, you you could just tie poacher's knots um, or you could, you know, create a bend here, you know, to form a loop. But the problem with that is because there's so much movement in this area here in this secondary stage um, inevitably one of the legs is going to get out of alignment and if you have a loop then there's a risk of cross loading so another way that you can create the eyes for a hitch like this and I'll show you in a little bit how you can create eyes conveniently for any hitch when tying with, you know, just a regular length of hitch cord versus an eye to eye is by using what is known as the skib method. And that is S K I B. And that stands for stop or not in the back. This is something that Brocky developed and came up with. And I asked him if I could, you know, help disseminate this knowledge to the world. I mean, it's actually, once you see it, you'll see why it's, why I think it's so special. Um, so there are a number of ways that you can do the skib or tie the skib. And let me show you these three ways that you can do this. So... The first way to do it is by taking your hitch cord legs and creating loops like this and having one loop on either side and then bringing them together like this and having the left side pass on the left side of the rope and the right side pass on the right side of the rope. Now at this point I like to stick a carabiner in there so that I can get the eyes as tight as I can possibly get them and all you do here is you're going to tie a stopper knot. Now I have been using just a basic overhand like this, but it should be mentioned that a lot of climbers wouldn't consider a overhand in and of itself secure enough to be climbed on. However, I've never had this knot slip, um, but it is advisable to use something more secure like a figure eight. And although I'm not gonna tie figure eights for my demonstrations, just because it's easier to do an overhand, take note that it is preferable 
um, for your safety and your security at height that you use something more secure like um, the figure eight. So now that I've done the stopper knot in the back here and now you know where it gets its name you can see that it's formed two eyes and I could definitely get this tighter if I wanted to um, but I'm not really too concerned about it right now I'm just demonstrating but you can see how there's definitely room for getting this a little tighter and now I have fully fledged hitch cord eyes that can allow me to you know maintain a sort of even temperament between these two eyes um, without having the eyes be fully independent of one another and because there's minimal slack involved there's you know very little differences between the eyes especially since they're connected to one another at the back with the stop or not so this is one way that you can tie the skib and as you can see it's great for for tending and the second way that you can tie the skib for this particular hitch is by simply taking the hitch cord and by creating just a loop like this two sets of loops excuse me so you've got it looped on one side sorry I was out of frame there looped on one side and then looped on the other and you're gonna want it to go you want it to loop up like that you don't want it to ever loop like this so curling upwards not curling downwards and once you've done that then you can once again put your carabiner in place and then tie your stopper knot of choice at the back and there you have it now you have the second way to tie the skib this is probably my personal favorite um, there's a variation on this that I'm going to show you in a minute that I find you know to be superior with certain hitches that accommodate the specific way of tying it um, but we'll get to that in a minute so that's the second way to tie the skib and the third way is by and this is the only variant of the skib where you want the eyes to sort of loop down like this in the opposite orientation but what you want to do here is with this opening or this excuse me the bottom of the hitch here stick going to the left of the rope rope with the left leg go then behind through here and then with the right leg go to the right side of the rope up through here and once again I can now insert my carabiner and then I can get this nice and tight 
and tie my stopper knot. Okay. So there's that. So now, if you're able to use this particular variant, I would recommend it over the other two just because it has, I sometimes I've had the skib um, it, with the other two versions lose its position and the stopper knot will go below its original position and then that'll cause everything to kind of get out of whack and then you end up kind of it just extends down and it's not where you want it to be it doesn't happen often but it has happened to me uh, this with this time method that just simply cannot happen so this is definitely preferable if you're able to you know if you if the hitch that you're tying has any sort of feature in the back where it goes around one wrap you can use it that way the same way as this so that is the third method of tying the skib now what about more conventional hitches you ask i'm glad you asked so here we have the michuacan a pretty popular climbing hitch and very well known and what we can do here is same sort of thing we can pick any I'll just pick you know the first method um, so I'm going to take this and create two loops like that and then I can simply put my carabiner into the loops and then you'll notice here it's kind of um, It's not as neat as with, you, you kind of have to really make sure that you get this very tight, otherwise it's gonna be imbalanced. Now see how it's sitting really nicely like that? That's how you wanna get it. And so here I can just now tie my stopper knot in the back. And voila, I have a Michuacan tied with a stopper knot in the back or skib method of creating the eyes. So what about other friction hitches? Um, so here's a cool one. This is the catalyst hitch, another very mainstream climbing hitch that a lot of you will recognize. If I wanted to create the eyes with this one, I can do something pretty unique, which is actually incorporate the skib into the hitch body. So instead of setting it below, what I can do is I can, so if I choose the second method of tying a skib, because of this, round portion here um, what I can do is I can open this up and I can insert the right leg above itself on the right side and then on the left side I can pass it through above itself on the left side now at this point, I'm going to put the carabiner in and just get that nice and tight. And 
here I then now will simply tie my stopper knot and get that as tight as I possibly can and look at that but I bet you've never seen a catalyst hitch like that it'll retain all of the functionality of a regular catalyst hitch easy tending quick to grab and you don't have to sit there and fuss around tying two poachers knots that by the time you load the hitch anyway you're gonna to have to adjust for a second or maybe even a third time so yeah this has been the skib method again Brocky a fellow arborist not fellow arborist I'm not an arborist but a, a fellow tree climbing enthusiast uh, came up with this and I really think it's spectacular um, I had never seen anything like it and this here showcases the three different methods we got behind the wrap uh, we've got you know making sort of loops and then behind the rope then we have just creating going around like that and then occasionally with hitches like the catalyst hitch you may have an opportunity to pass through a rounded portion and end up with a really great climbing hitch like this that's just completely unique and special and um, anyways I hope you found this to be interesting I hope this helps you in your own climbing life um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I, once again, am using, with the exception of this cord here, which is seven feet in length, these other, other ones are only, I think, five feet in length. So, it doesn't require a whole lot, and I used to love eye to eyes I still love eye to eyes uh, especially spliced eye to eyes don't get me started but um, this there's something about just a plain old hitch cord that is just so convenient and with the skib method it just doesn't get any more convenient it just can't I can't think of a way that it could get easier so alright check out my channel if you haven't already for more long form short form videos more hitch how-tos, not tutorials, and climbing videos. I'll put links at the end of this video. You should be seeing them right about now where I have linked the other three videos that go along with this series. So there are four videos in total in the series. So check them out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.